energy pyramids show the relative amounts of energy in each trophic level in a food chain. Producers are always found at the bottom of an energy pyramid where it is the widest. That's because producer populations always have the greatest amount of chemical energy. You can also think about producers as being the foundation of the food chain. Each trophic level in a food chain only gets about 10% of the energy from the trophic level before it. This is why each trophic level is in smaller and smaller sections in the energy pyramid. Producers get their energy from the sun. The sun provides solar energy, not chemical energy, so it's not considered a trophic level. As energy travels through the food chain, much of the energy is lost to the environment. Energy is usually lost to the environment in the form of heat. The energy that's left in the tissues of dead organisms is used by decomposers and detrivores. Decomposers, like bacteria and fungi, receive energy from organisms from every trophic level. You may also see energy pyramids that look less like a triangle and more like this. This is actually a more accurate representation of the amount of energy that's found at each trophic level. Unlike a triangle, which shows a gradual drop-off in energy between trophic levels, a diagram like this shows how drastic the drop-off is. Remember, only 10% of the energy from one trophic level goes to the next. That means that each trophic level should be much, much smaller than the previous level, just like this diagram depicts.